NDK Crystal operated a synthetic quartz crystal manufacturing facility in an industrial area adjacent to Interstate 90 in Belvedere, Illinois. NDK produces large crystals used for a variety of products, particularly electronic devices. The facility housed eight massive cylindrical pressure vessels with eight-inch thick steel walls standing 50 feet tall. Inside the vessels, raw mined quartz, or silica, was mixed with a corrosive sodium hydroxide solution at extremely high pressures and temperatures. The vessels were kept sealed for up to 150 days to allow the growth of large single crystals of quartz. The silica and sodium hydroxide react with iron in the walls of the steel vessel, forming a layer of sodium iron silicate, or acmite. The company believed this acmite coating would protect the vessels from the corrosive effects of the chemicals inside. Over the years, NDK was warned that corrosion might be compromising the walls of the pressure vessels. Yet the company continued to operate these vessels without performing recommended inspections. On December 7, 2009, pressure vessel number two was 120 days into a routine 150-day crystal growing cycle, when suddenly, at about 2.30 p.m., it violently ruptured. Large pieces of structural steel were thrown from the building. One piece was blown 650 feet toward a gas station on the Illinois Tollway. Tragically, the building fragment struck and killed a driver who was walking back to his truck. A large piece of the pressure vessel tore through an exterior wall of the NDK facility, skipped across a neighboring parking lot, and struck the wall of an adjacent automotive supply company where nearly 70 people were working. One was injured. To determine the cause of the failure, the CSB reviewed process data from vessel number two and worked with the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST, to examine results from metallurgical testing. The investigation concluded that the failure most likely resulted from stress corrosion cracking on the inside walls of the vessel, which had gone uninspected and undetected for years. In fact, the CSB learned that NDK never actually tested or verified the effectiveness of the acmite coating to prevent the corrosion in the vessels. In addition, the CSB found the design of the NDK vessels made them inherently susceptible to stress corrosion cracking. A combination of vessel materials, caustic sodium hydroxide solution, and high temperatures and pressures created a corrosive environment inside the vessels. Also, the vessels did not meet requirements of the widely recognized ASME boiler and pressure vessel code. The thickness of the vessel walls exceeded recommended limits to ensure safe manufacturing, and three of the vessels did not meet the code's requirements for toughness. In 2002, NDK had petitioned Illinois state regulators for a special exemption to use the three vessels, and this was granted. The vessel designer, engineering pressure systems, recommended that the inside of the vessels be inspected annually. But the CSB found that neither NDK nor the state of Illinois ever performed regular internal inspections of any of the eight vessels. In January 2007, pressure vessel number six experienced an uncontrolled leak of hot caustic material through its lid. The leak sprayed onto the ceiling and fifth floor of the NDK facility, but caused no injuries. NDK initiated an investigation into the accident. A third-party consultant, hired by NDK's insurance company, determined that the leak in the vessel lid was caused by stress corrosion cracking and concluded that the vessel's improper design, fabrication, and material selection were the cause. Later, in August of 2007, the insurance company informed NDK in a letter that its consultant had serious reservations about returning the pressure vessels to service and that a decision to do so would be seriously flawed. The insurance consultant specifically cautioned NDK that far more catastrophic scenarios are possible, putting NDK employees and the public at risk, specifically naming the Illinois Tollway Oasis gas station 
where the truck driver would be killed by flying debris two and a half years later. Despite this strong warning, NDK continued to operate the vessels without establishing an internal inspection program or verifying whether the Acmite coating was in fact protecting the vessels from corrosion. And over the years, the state of Illinois only performed inspections of accessible external surfaces and pressure relief devices of the vessels, never examining the vessels for corrosion inside. The state had approved the vessels for non-corrosive use without thoroughly examining whether the crystal growing process would corrode the metal walls. Overall, the CSB found that no certified inspector had ever performed internal inspections of vessel number two during the six years it was in service. The CSB also found, despite the inherent hazards of the large-scale, high-pressure process at NDK, it was unsafely sited in a light industrial area near other businesses, the interstate, and the rest area. The city of Belvedere has no additional siting or zoning requirements for heavy industrial facilities or requirements for considering the off-site impact of industrial accidents. In its report, the board recommended stricter requirements for the design of heavy-walled pressure vessels to reduce the susceptibility to corrosion or damage in high-pressure operations. The board also recommended that NDK use an inherently safer process for growing synthetic crystals, preferably using lower pressures and temperatures. The board said such a process is already used by another company in Ohio. The CSB urged that Illinois regulators develop procedures to better identify pressure vessels subject to corrosion and require regular internal inspections. And the board recommended that NDK conduct an independent facility siting study prior to restarting operations to address off-site consequences. The CSB concluded that with stricter regulations for the design and construction of high-pressure vessels and regular inspections for corrosion, catastrophic accidents like the one at NDK can be prevented. For more information, please visit csb.gov.